Okay guys, welcome back to some FIFA 18 Ultimate Team, my Gun In For Glory, kind of Road To Glory type Ultimate Team series. I uh, hope you're all enjoying it so far. If you are new here, I would advise you go and check out the previous videos, um, just to follow the series through chronologically. Anyway, as you can see there, um, we get a reward from playing the journey, and uh, it's Rio Ferdinand's just alone. 88 rated Ferdinand card which is decent because we're playing in the Premier League so it's definitely needed um, if you haven't seen my journey playthrough go and check it out if you are interested that is we also get a free pack um, I did buy the Ronaldo edition so I think I get a pack every single week so we'll see who we get in this pack a Spanish left back German League Bundesliga even Bayern Munich. <laughs> I couldn't even think of what I was trying to say. We get Benat and he's going to go into our club. As I say, we are obviously saving every player that we pack and they might be used in some squad building challenges. Um, and also, I want to build other other teams as well as a Premier League, uh, Premier League team. I want to build like uh, the top five. So Premier League, French League, German League, Spanish League and Italian League as well. If you want to see any more teams, so maybe an MLS or something like that, maybe a championship uh, one as well, although I, I am a little bit worried it might be too low rated, but we'll see. Um, if you want to see anything like that, obviously let me know in the comments down below. Also, um, at the minute, in this episode, I'm going to be playing through Division 10 um, and trying to you know, get as many points as possible. The way that I work is after I complete a season, um, after I complete either a season or a tournament, I'll open a pack. Uh, then or open as many packs as I can or open the best pack that I can um, save the players and carry on um, I want to build I want to do some more drafts but they'll come as probably a separate separate sort of video I think um, and yeah at the time being I do want to go forward and play foot champions uh, when I get a bit of a better squad I'm gonna say when I get an all rare team all rare gold team that is you know uh, not full of loans and, and stuff so yeah I don't think it'll take us too long probably completing division 10 and then maybe 9 I think then we might might be able to I bought two players and I did that so that I could get into uh, other stuff uh, so I could get into starting seasons basically um, and yeah from now on in now I've got my basic EPL team everything else is going to be and play pretty much through to glory pack and play and yeah we're not going to be bally 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 we're not going to be buying any more players squad uh, battles is something that i do want to do but obviously like i say when i get a bit of a better team i'm going to be doing squad battles and i'm doing uh foot champions as well so uh, this is our best starting 11 at the minute it's not bad room for improvement of course but it's a good basic team that I think we can get quite a few points with and hopefully do well in uh, Division 10 with move on to Division 9 maybe we're gonna find our first opponent of the day so here's our first opponent of today's episode Ash Bash FC uh, again he looks like he's just starting out as well maybe um, he's got some quality in there um, and also some basic as well. I have to say, um, Francis Coquelin, I really like an ultimate team. Really like him. After a goalless first half, guys, our goal comes from uh, Bernardo Silva there. Slotting it past his goalkeeper, I think it's Bravo. Um, Berahino playing Silva through. Nice bit of play. Uh, had a lot of chances like this throughout the game. And finally, one managed to pay off. We're into the dying minutes of the match now and you can just, it's just so fucking predictable and to top it all off, the little prick dabs on me as well with Alexis Sanchez. He goes 1-1 literally right at the end of the game guys, really undeserved. I can, great, I can take defeat graciously, I really can, but when I'm just absolutely mugged off like this, it really annoys me. Berahino through on goal. This is pretty much how the full game has gone. As that chance right there sums up how the full game went. And with that, guys, the first game of this episode finishes 1 1. We pick up uh, just a single point there. Should have picked up all three. But yeah, we leave with just the one point. 
My next opponent goes by the name of Cluzona. That's his team's name. He's got some really good players in there, actually. A couple of uh, informed cards. Nice squad. Going to be really tough to get anything against this. I'd take a draw. I'd definitely take a draw. We're into, uh, well, just under 20 minutes in here. Berahina's got the ball. He's gone past one defender. Can he go past two? Maybe. Oh, he's clean. What a strike that is. Putting us 1-0 up against a team that, I mean, you would just completely write us off against. And we get, and we, we were winning 1-0. That's awesome. That was a really good goal as well from Berahina. I very quickly just want to ask for anybody listening and watching right now, um... Do you want to see more chances added into this, or are you guys okay with just seeing goals? Just let me know in the comments down below, please. We did go into half-time with a 1-0 lead, however, just after uh, the second half begins, he does pull one back and makes it 1-1. I mean, goals were to be expected in this game. That's, you know, that definitely goes without saying there. Um, pretty much to add insult to injury, I can't even speak guys, he goes through with Martins um, <laughs> and makes it 2-1 for himself there. Nice goal, nice play. I mean, I can't really be too mad because he has got a, a team that is significantly better um, at, than mine in all areas. Uh, I've got a silver goalkeeper for Christ's sake, so yeah. <laughs> got Berahino moving forward though. Um, bit of a stumble but he gets it back gives it to Alexis Sanchez he carries on shoots and of course Alexis delivers there puts us 2-2 so we're back on level terms guys it's it's not looking great but it's you know we're doing well I think it, it, when you compare the two sides like we've we're doing really well here to be able to get as many chances as what we've had uh, and you know to get two goals as well against a pretty good pretty good defense pretty good strong team I think it's very basic but I still think it's a solid team uh, after going you know making it 2-2 as you're gonna see <laughs> it pretty much easy stuff for him really bad defending from myself really bad goalkeeping as well um, he stayed down after the first shot and you know I don't know guys, if it was a different goalkeeper I think maybe we, it could still be 2-2 but um, yeah you know it, it was to be, I, look I came into this game and I thought I'd be happy with a draw, like I'm going to be lucky to get a draw in this, um, I really wrote myself off and I, I'm really pleased at the fact that I managed to get two goals and not be humiliated, you know to lose 3-2 is not a bad bad game in a game where you would have completely written me off again couple of chances like that guys uh, and yeah well, unfortunately wasn't able to get a third uh, despite having quite a few chances he probably had the majority not gonna lie um, you know so to lose lose three two though isn't bad I was expecting you know worse um, I'm a bit disappointed to not have a win yet in you know in online seasons um, in ultimate team but you know it is time but maybe third time lucky hey our next opponent guys is Taylor's boys he's got uh, he's gone for the EPL team as well he's got Berahino in there as well um, probably similar sort of rating to mine overall I, th I think mine's actually slightly better on average I'd say maybe i'm not too sure he's got some good players in there but i mean so have we i keep saying about other people oh he's got too many good players you know we've got bernardo silva we've got alexis sanchez we've got rio ferdinand at the back we haven't got a bad side ourselves um so we'll see what we can make of this game so our first goal guys is about to come just before half time here alexis sanchez getting into the right place initial save and that <laughs> he made what could have been a simple goal a, a really good goal he, like with the initial shot and then the way that he finished that second time round was immense so we're one nil up just before half time hopefully can go into that half time break uh with the lead um he rage quitted on me <laughs> simply rage quit on me so we got our first win there guys and our first wait rage quit can we make somebody else rage quit guys let's have a look at our next opponent again EPL team, quite quite standard again, quite basic, pretty much similar to mine I'd say. Yeah, pretty good team. 
it's uh, going to be an interesting game, probably a evenly matched game. Got some quite OP players in there, okay, you know, Son, Lalana was quite OP in FIFA 17, interesting to see how he will be in FIFA 18, haven't used him yet. After a goalless first half guys, it's actually not until the 73rd minute where the action starts happening, some interesting play from Son out wide, some good play then in the box, shoddy defending by myself I have to admit, and Mkhitaryan's there to give my opponent a 1-0 lead. Uh, with seven, almost 75 minutes played. Sadly, guys, we couldn't get a goal in this game. Um, disappointed in that, obviously. We lose 1-0 um, in a game that I think was quite evenly matched. I think a draw probably would have been a more fair result. Uh, I suffered a lot of lag last night. There was a lot of lag going on uh, in games. I know that EA servers are quite bad at the minute. Um, a couple of FIFA YouTubers aren't playing much online. Um, I know Reeve said that he wasn't going to be playing until like this week, I think. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes anyway. Uh, we're slowly progressing, you know. I think we'll, we just need a couple wins, a couple consecutive wins. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go on. Okay, so from giving uh, Francis Coquelin a contract, we earn a reward, and the reward for that is um, was just a bronze pack. So again, you know, quick sell, uh, not quick sell, store all the players in my club, um, make any items, my active items, and uh, carry on. We get a new badge, a new stadium. Uh, there's two new away kits there, and the way that I work is I use the last one. Um, is my active one, so it's quite, it's quite different. I, I quite liked the island one though, not gonna lie, I thought it was quite smart, but never mind. Um, I guess that one kind of goes with our home kit a little bit with the, with the in, induced yellow, if that makes sense. And we get a new ball as well. Happy days. I need to quick sell the other items, so if you see my coinage go up by a little bit, it's because I've quick sold other, the other items that were our active, our previous um, active kit items like the badge and the kits and stuff okay okay guys i'm really sorry um i had a lot of issues last night with um my capture card uh i uploaded a vlog or will be uploading a vlog i think i'll be uploading it i'm not sure but basically you know to explain this but yeah i've i've had a, quite a few issues with my capture card um sometimes it'll record one night it'll record absolutely fine and I, I can record hours and hours up on end of footage um, and then all of a sudden it just starts to, to crash on me quite a lot um, and it was crashing on me a lot last night so this video was broken up into uh, four different parts four, it went off and on on and off on me uh, four times basically uh, some of them was in the space of 10 minutes 15 minutes uh, one clip I think was 30 minutes long so yeah i'm sorry about that guys it's not ideal uh, unfortunately you don't get to see the little preview of my opponent's squad here because of that um but yeah we'll get into the game anyway and hopefully get another win regardless as you can imagine it, it really annoyed me guys you know playing i'm playing with lag so you know the servers were pretty poor um and it ju just didn't really help but we powered through as we do we worked through it we worked through our technical problems with the capture card I carried on guys, I probably used it to my own kind of incentive to win and uh, yeah, nice goal there, I really liked that style of goal, like Shaka heading it onto Barahino, nice finish from Barahino, uh, really good finish, really, and I know it was close, but it was just nice, just a nice goal I think, and it's very rare that I do stuff from set pieces, so I was really pleased about that goal, and he, uh, he paused then. But yeah, we're playing against the 69ers, and you'll probably see his squad as chances and stuff go on and, and that. So we're 1-0 up just before half-time, and we are not done yet. Berahino to Tadic, back to Berahino. Can he finish it this time? So many times we've been in that position and it's been saved. Not this time. Berahino slides it past the goalkeeper just before half-time. Once again, I have, a, I have a habit of scoring just before half-time here. And we go 2-0 up. Brilliant stuff, celebrating with the fans there. Lovely, like I've said this before, lovely addition into the game. Uh, and yeah, 
Happy days. Into the uh, second half now, guys. Coming towards the end, you know, 73 minutes in now. Tadic then uh, with a nice shot. At, well, not a nice shot. A, an okay shot at goal. Decent chance. Uh, and he has absolutely just given up, as you can see. He drops the ball with his goalkeeper. Tries to come forward. Tadic just possesses the goalkeeper. I'd be a little bit che uh, cheeky. A little bit cheeky here with the goal that I score. 3 0 up, and I think we're going to get yet another rage quit now, guys, which suits me just fine. Yep, he rage quit, and we win 3 0. Awesome stuff. Finished nice and early as well. Um, so, because of the issues that I had, guys, when I initially set out recording this episode, I wanted to complete Division 10 and, you know, go up, get myself promoted. Cause I think we'll definitely get promoted. We've still got five games left. Um, I wanted to do that all in one episode, but because of the issues that I was having, um, I decided not to. I decided against that. Um, so, yeah, I am going to end the episode here. What I am going to do, guys, we do lose Alexis Sanchez, obviously, now is, uh, he's expired. Um, and I think Townsend's going to be coming in in his replacement. But, yeah, guys, that does bring me to the end uh, of this episode. I really do apologise about, you know, the lag, uh, not the lag. Well, yeah, the lag issues, but I don't think that affected gameplay too much. I still got some wins here, got some good results as well. Um, I apologise about the cutting and stuff, um, you know, the crashing of my capture card, but it's something that can't be helped. I do need to upgrade. Uh, my cap what I mean by capture card, by the way, is you know how people record using an Elgato? That's what I'm referring to as a capture card. I don't have an Elgato. I want to upgrade to one. Uh, I'll probably do, I will do, I will be doing without a doubt, whether it's in the next few weeks or whether it's just after Christmas, I'm not sure, but it, I am going to be upgrading like I say at the least uh, at the latest it's going to be after Christmas so going into the new year with an Algato would be awesome um, anyway guys thank you very much for watching the video if, if you did enjoy obviously please leave a like creating on the video I put a massive amount of effort into carrying on because it technical issues issues really do get you down and it did really get me down um, but yeah you know I just carried on anyway and did what I could up until like the fourth time it conked out on me which is at the end of this clip um, but yeah Anyway guys, yeah, like I say, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like, rate and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Uh, give me any feedback in the comments down below. Uh, here's a, a bit of advice of what you can give me. If you're okay with the way that the videos are currently being edited, so I just show you guys the goals and maybe the odd chance, let me know in the comments down below if it's absolutely fine. Awesome. If you want to see more chances, please let me know in the comments down below. That will mean videos are going to be necessarily longer um, and also take me longer to edit but yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below and like i say any feedback i get from you guys whether it's constructive criticism or if it's you know good feedback then brilliant i'm thoroughly really appreciative of it um and yeah i will see you all in the next video thank you very much for sticking around Guys, I'm really proud to announce a brand new sponsorship with a company called Amped Up. Amped Up are a new company that make custom controllers for cheaper prices than what we are used to seeing across the market. They also have a variety of designs for the PlayStation and Xbox controllers and are looking to add more soon. You can of course add my code KIM3012 at checkout for a discount and you can find them in my description.